Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 20th through the 26th. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Typically my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up. If this reading feels like it's for you, then it's for you. If it feels like it's not for you, then it's not. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Beautiful. Go for it. Oh. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Maybe you need to express love to yourself. That could be the case. Maybe once you love yourself, you're able to express yourself more openly to another person. I mean, makes sense, doesn't it? Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? almost every reading I've done today has had this card. Now this one is the devil card but it is reversed. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be freeing yourself from a toxic situation. You could be restoring control over a situation. You know, maybe that's where the love yourself first comes. Maybe that's the self love. You know, I, it feels like you guys are taking back your power in some situation. Yeah, because there's been a loss of power. <laughs> See, the power sign is down. There's been a loss of power. It's like somebody has stolen your power. And I feel like you guys are taking it back. You're removing an obstacle from your life. Sticking up for yourself. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. I think you guys have been criticized. Perhaps you've been taken advantage of. And you're like, I don't know. I love myself too much for that shit. Yeah, it's like you guys are standing in your own power. That's what I see. It's like, yeah, this hurts. I know that it hurts. There's some heartache here. There's some there's some grief. And you've been put through some grief. You've been put through some hurt. I think that somebody has left you walking on eggshells. You know, they've, they've kind of brought you down. Somebody has brought you down. But it's like, you know what? I love myself enough to cut you out. To break this chain. I love myself. You guys are being practical, and you believe in yourselves. You do. I see a lot of uh, your ability, your ability to listen to your inner guide. There's, you're very intuitive at this time, okay? Your intuition is definitely talking to you. I feel like you guys are being the master of your own emotions. It's like, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? You know, it's like, are you kidding me? That's what I keep hearing. Are you kidding me? Who do you think you're dealing with? I mean, that's what I keep hearing. It's like... You guys are very practical. You're being very responsible. You're trying to do the right thing. It's like you're able to balance your own securities with your emotions. It's like you're able to um, bring wish fulfillment to your life. I don't need you. I don't need your toxicity. You know, I can take care of myself just fine. I feel like you guys are very abundant with who you are. You have a lot of faith in who you are that's what I see it's like there's no stepping on your toes it's like you guys are or somebody did somebody did somebody hurt you somebody brought you backwards they brought you down they brought your self-confidence or your self-esteem down for a little while and you may have let that bother you for a minute but it looks like at this point you are coming out of the darkness and you're seeing the light and the light is pretty bright so I feel like you guys are definitely taking back your power in some situation, whatever that is. Let me zoom this in. It's like you're going through some sort of recovery and there's a lot of faith, okay? These are both cards of faith. But this one reversed and this one upright, it's like... You know, I have faith in myself. I have faith in whatever I can do, whatever I want. 
so I'm just gonna get some clarifiers here. Yeah, okay. So you guys have been dealing with a person that doesn't respect your boundaries. They've brought some unexpected conflicts into your life. Somebody that's a big talker, has no follow through. There's been some difficulty in communication. You probably, there might have been some gossip. It's like somebody's been running their mouth and, and spilling out shit. And it hurts. It does hurt. And it feels like, yeah, you are definitely dealing with a big talker. You may have, somebody may have come into your life and tried to sweep you off your feet with a bunch of um, nonsense, okay? A bunch of, oh, I love yous and this is forever and you're the best and blah, 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 blah. And it was complete shit. Um, I feel as though you were probably dealing with some kind of narcissist or um, controlling son of a gun who has a, you know, has OCD or, or... <laughs> A huge ego okay you're dealing with somebody who has to control every situation and they can and you know they're just they got issues you're dealing with somebody who is very controlling very manipulative uh, doesn't even think when they talk okay this person is just like saying whatever they need to say to get what they want they don't care who they hurt okay that's the way it is and they did and it hurt whatever's happened has hurt you and it brought you down for a minute like i said but i think that it doesn't last long i feel like you guys you put your guard up and you say you know what you're stepping on my toes i think you got that backwards so i feel like you guys take charge you take the lead because you have a lot of self-respect you have a lot of self-love and that's where so this car is self-respect come from comes from I feel like you guys find the amount of self-respect to take back control of your life this week. Yes, because you're being, you've been dealing with a karmic situation where somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. It's it, Yeah, life isn't fair, and I think that you're dealing with an unfair circumstance, but you have the knowledge, the willpower, the discipline, and everything. You have everything that you need to deal with this, and I think that you're going to. I think that... There is a, a dishonest individual in your midst that is got a huge ego, like I said, that is, is bringing you down, is bringing you backwards. And I think that you know exactly who this is. I think that, like I said earlier, your intuition is right on target. You know what this is. I think you're dealing with somebody that has secrets, somebody that's a liar, somebody that has come in and filled you up with a pile of crap. You know that they have. They have no follow through whatsoever, whoever this person is. You're probably hurt by it, you know, because I think that you probably, you know, may have, uh, you know, opened your heart in, for a minute for this to this person. You may have opened it up. and But I think you came to the conclusion really fast that there's no, there's no, this is an injustice. This is a lie. There's definitely a lie here. There is. And I think you know exactly what it is. You know that somebody is lying. They're not telling you the truth and anyway I feel you know what goes around comes around so keep that in mind I feel as though there's a change of, of course on the horizon for you which is going to bring you something much better and it's because of your faith your faith in yourself because you believe in yourself and because you have self-respect something better is on the way and it's because you don't hang on to something that is going nowhere it's like you are fully enlightened I'm not, I'm not going to sacrifice myself for a bullshitter. You're dealing with a bullshitter, okay? You are. There's no doubt about it. There's a bullshitter here. Um, and therefore, there is going to be some sort of faded event. There's going to be a rude awakening that forces somebody to take it into their own hands and, and restore control, free themselves from a toxic situation. So that's what's going on this week. Be prepared for some sort of a rude awakening, a fated event that changes your course, forces you to stand up for yourself, okay? You're going to have to stand up for yourself. Whatever this is, be prepared to stand up for yourself, okay? Because you're dealing with somebody who's not honest. You, you are. You're dealing with a dishonest individual who doesn't want to be held accountable for anything and, you know, is very controlling, manipulative, um, OCD, uh, anything like that, you know, narcissistic, you're dealing with somebody who is a know-it-all, 
And the fact of the matter is, is you know exactly what this is. You're not there. They think that they're a know-it-all, okay? I feel as though, yeah, you are going to have to defend yourself. I think that you have an, enough life experience behind your back to see right through this bullshit, okay? Yeah, you be prepared for a conflict. Be prepared for a conflict or a competition or some sort. That's what this is, conflict and competition. There's power struggles between you and another person. And there is going to be a rude awakening that forces somebody to stand up for themselves. Because whatever it is that you're holding on to is getting old. There's no, there's no growth in that. It's like you've reached a dead end and now you got to pull the pull it. you got to pull the plug. Because you deserve love. And when, when it is love, people have to put in effort. You have to work on it. But right now it feels like you need to come out of this darkness. You need to... step onto solid ground right now you're on you're on shaky ground with somebody somebody that is is guarded somebody that is indecisive somebody that doesn't tell the truth somebody that is wearing a mask you I mean you're dealing with somebody who is very emotionally blocked and that that does totally make sense okay you are you're dealing with somebody that is emotionally withdrawn and blocked and they're unable to give you the love that you deserve yeah somebody that doesn't have good intentions it could be a pisces cancer scorpio i don't know but i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is like i said blocked emotionally blocked It's all over in this reading anyway. There's no relationship growth in whatever situation this is. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think that there's, there's no secret. You were just waiting for the rude awakening to happen. And the rude awakening is either here now or right around the corner. Okay. The rude awakening is coming. And um, It may it may stir up some memories. It may stir up some memories from the past. It will. It will help you to move forward. It'll help you to make progress. Sixes are get your life back on track. Whatever this is, it's gonna help you get your life back on track. This could also have to do with children. You know I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really want to work as a team. There's no togetherness, there's no teamwork, you know? I, mm. And I feel like you could be dealing with a, a complete player. This is my player card. It's my player card. You're dealing with somebody who brings chaos into your life. And you now have to make a choice. And it's going to come whether you like it or not. Because the tower is a fated event that forces a change. So, And it's going to allow you to get your life back on track. Okay, that's what's going to happen. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of, of conflict, unfortunately. Not all conflict, not every day. But there's going to be some conflict that comes about that the very first card, if you look at this card, this is restoring control. And underneath it, getting your life back on track. Okay, be, be getting things back to being balanced. Okay, something is going to happen that allows you to free yourself from a situation that is bullshit as far as new love I don't think so so that's what I see that's what I have I wish you the best uh, good luck Gemini